Okay, so the next topic we're going to talk about here is solving a triangle with the law of sines, property type 1. Okay, so that's the topic. Uh, on this one, you're going to notice one thing's a little bit different. So one of the first times we see a triangle that's not a right triangle. Okay, so it's not a right triangle, it's not guaranteed. And uh, what you have to do is find the remaining pieces. Okay, so first you got to look and see what they give you okay and we'll talk about what the law of signs are and how that relates okay so what do they give you they give you if i'm looking here i've got an angle and an angle right so capital a is referring to this angle right here 61 degrees okay and then this capital b is referring to this angle right here which is 38 degrees now, so now what we have to do is find the last angle. Well, that's easy to find out because all the angles add up to what? 180 degrees. So here we go. So if you go 180 minus your 61 minus your 38, you're going to end up with 81, and that's going to be your last angle. Okay? So this angle right here is going to be 81 degrees. Okay, so that was one of the things you had to find was the big C. So big C, right, and they're asking for that on Alex. That's that's talking about angle C. So angle C is 81 degrees. That's 180 minus the two angles that they give you. So that's a piece of cake. Now, the next step, it, you start working in the law of sides. So let's fill in what we know as far as sides. So side-wise, all they give us is C is 66. So this C right here is 66 degrees. Yeah, buddy, what's up? I'm talking to the kids at school. Don't worry about it. <laughs> Get out of here. <laughs> yeah, I'm talking to somebody on the internet. Okay. There's somebody, there's somebody listening on the other internet. Okay, so. Um, now. All right, sorry about that. Okay, so now we're going to go and use the law of sine. So here's the law of sine. In case you didn't know it, it's sine of A over a, well, over side a, is equal to sine of b over side b, which is equal to sine of c over little c. Okay, so that's the law of sines. It just means that that ratio is going to hold the same. So we're going to use what we know. We know this side is 66, and the angle that goes with it is right here. So we're going to use sine of c, all right, so sine of c is divided by c is going to be equal to, and then we're going to pick one to solve. We might as well just go with, uh, oh, it doesn't really matter. You want to just go with a, we might as well solve sine of a first. So sine of a divided by a. Okay. So, all right. If, if that's what we're doing, sine of c, all right, we're, since we know c now, sine of 61 degree, oh, no. Sine of 81 degrees. Ah, my bad. Here, let me erase that. Sine of 81 degrees. Okay. 81 degrees divided by 66, because that's side length C, okay, is going to be equal to sine of um, third, no, sine of 61 degrees, okay, because that's angle for a divided by side a which we don't know we'll call a okay so there we gotta solve that all right that that you, you're just gonna do this let me scroll down a little bit give myself some more room um, okay so solving that all right yeah, let me come down a little bit further okay to solve that equation this is how we're gonna do it we're gonna multiply both sides by a Multiply here by A, multiply here by A, and then these A's cancel. That's nice. Okay. Which is going to give me, hmm. Yeah, all right. So that's going to give me A times the sine of 81 all divided by 66 equals the sine 
of 61 degrees. Okay, so to get A by itself, I'm going to divide by this whole guy, which is really like multiplying by the reciprocal. A little bit tricky there, okay? So if you're dividing by sine of 81 degrees divided by 66 to get A by itself, so this is like a complex fraction, okay? Okay, so when you do this, what actually happens is these cancel out, like as we expected, these are gone, okay? So you get A is equal to, now when you flip this up top, you gotta remember, dividing by a fraction is multiplying by its reciprocal. So you're gonna get 66 times sine of 61 degrees, all divided by sine of 81 degrees, okay? So that's what you get, because when you divide by a, a fraction, you're really multiplying by its reciprocal. Its reciprocal will be 66 over sine of 81, okay? So there you go, so this is what you get. So you type that in the calculator, and voila, there it is, there's your answer, right there. So A, or side length A, it's going to be uh, 58.44. I think it only wants the nearest tenth, so get rid of that second four. It only wants, it only wants that. Okay, so there's your A. Okay, but we're not done. Okay, this is a long problem. All right, so to find the rest of our answer, we're, we're going to have to. All right, so here, let's let's put this up there. A is 58.4. Now we got to find B on this guy, and we're good. So we're going to do law of sines again using big B and little b, and then we can use any other side we want. So I'll just use 81 and uh, 66, so C and C. All right, so let me come down here a little bit lower, all right, and we'll write it down here. So we're going to do law of sines again, but I'm going to do sine of C. So here we go. We'll do it right here. Sine of C divided by C is equal to sine of B divided by B, that's B, okay, and I'm going to solve that. So sine of C is going to be sine of 81 divided by my, my length of C, which is 66. It's going to be equal to sine of 38 divided by B, because I don't know what B is, okay? So now, solving again, multiply both sides by B. Okay, so these B's cancel. You know what, it might be easier. Eh, that's all right, whatever. All right, you multiply both sides by B, and then that's going to give you B times sine of 81 degrees all divided by 66 equals, this is just going to be sine of 38 degrees, okay? So we want to get B by itself. I'm going to divide by that fraction. We're going to have another dividing a complex fraction. So sine of 81 divided by 66. And we're going to divide here. Sine of 81 divided by 66. So what's going to happen here, again, these are going to cancel. Those are gone, OK? So you're left with B equals sine of, uh, well, when you work this out, remember, multiplying by its reciprocal, you're going to get a 66 comes to the top, sine of 81 stays on the bottom, so you get 66. Sorry, that's a 6. Oh, man, that's a bad 6. Let's just try that again. Okay. So you're going to get 66 times the sine of 38 all divided by sine of 81. Okay, good. So you type that in the calculator, voila, you get um, B is equal to 41.1, and that's your length. Okay, so that's my answer. So I found all of the pieces I need, okay, and I'm done. That's actually the last step. So yeah, there's a lot of steps in there, okay? And it's not as bad as it looks. 
Um, you just got to be careful, okay? A lot of work on there, but it's not too, too bad. You're just using this rule right here um, just over and over and over, okay? You're using this rule right here over and over and over, okay? So that ratio is pretty much all you need. Okay, well, that should do it. That one you might need a little help on, but good luck.